Welcome to Saving Lives with Gus and your host, Dr. Raj Ruparel. We're back in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we're gonna to be talking about CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, but we're gonna be talking about hands-only CPR, so no mouth to mouth, how to do it, when to do it. Let's go. It may happen in your workplace, maybe you're just out and about, but if you come across someone who's unconscious and not breathing, you're gonna to need to act. Gus, can you give us someone who's unconscious and not breathing? Okay, fantastic, let's see it. So if you see someone on the ground, there's two things you need to determine. Are they conscious? Are they breathing? Shake them, ask them their name. If you don't get a response, check if they're breathing. Put your ear to their mouth, look for chest rise. Listen and feel with your ear for breaths. If you don't hear anything, you don't feel anything, you don't see anything, you're gonna to have to call 911 immediately. Let them know who you are, where you are, what happened, the best of your knowledge. You're gonna to have to head back and administer high quality, hands-only CPR until help arrives. Here's how it's done. With your right hand, knuckles up, left hand over top, fingers interlocked, palm of your hand between the nipples on the breastbone, push hard and push fast. Two inches deep at 100 beats per minute. It's quicker than you think. You're gonna to wanna to do this until help arrives. If you get tired, that's okay. Shake it off, but keep going. This victim needs your help. For those without formal training in CPR, it's recommended that you only perform chest compressions. That's the most important thing. You don't have to worry about mouth to mouth. High quality chest compressions are key for these patients. Two inches deep, 100 beats per minute, as we showed. You can save someone's life. Thanks for watching. Pass this on to a friend.